hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Mayo Aoye in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I made this bustier dress with side drapes <laughs> I don't know but this color combination is giving Nigerian flag <laughs> anyways please tap the subscribe button below your screen and also tap the like button thank you So guys for today's um simple draped bustier dress um the first thing you're going to be needing is your basic um dress block and this is mine right here this is my basic dress block for my front this is the front um dress block and this is the back dress block so yeah just in case you don't know how to draft any of these blocks i teach that in my beginner class on pattern drafting so um you can reach out to me on instagram on at myowa underscore oye if you would like to enroll so that is myowa underscore oye on instagram so send me a dm if you would like to enroll guys so yeah let's continue with today's um bustier drift dress um tutorial now i'm going to keep my back pattern aside so that we can work more on the front pattern of our dress so yeah pretty much now the next thing i'm going to do is to decide how long i want my dress to be and for me i want it full length and my full length measurement is 62 inches so pretty much just measure 62 inches or your own full length from your shoulders here, from the top here all the way to where your full length measurement is going to be and then the next thing I'm going to do is to come also and also just measure your under post so measure from your shoulders to under your post and then measure it right there so for me my under post measurement is 14 inches so I'm going to measure it from here and then I will locate it right here so yeah that's that this is my under bust measurement right here so now from each that leg here from this dart leg here i'll measure half inch out and from each this dart leg also here i'll measure half inch out so yeah these are my marks right here so i'm going to connect with my french curve i'll connect from here to my bus point here this is my bus point here and then i'll connect to my bus point here so i'm going to be using the curved part of my french curve to do that so yeah this is it right here connected to my bus point so now i'm going to extend from here back to uh, my waist here and extend this year using a straight line so yeah that's that for that so now i'm going to draw in the shape of my neckline so yeah please note uh, that this dart at the top was already on my basic dress block i didn't have to draw it now if you already know how to draft the basic dress block you already know how to fix in this dart right here so it was already on my basic dress box now let's continue now i'm going to draft in the neckline of my dress and now um to get my neckline i'm going to come to my across um chest level here i'm going to locate this point here this is the highest point of my neckline right here this is my armhole side so now i'm going to come to the center here and locate the depth of my neckline so the depth can be however low you want it so if you want cleavage to show then you know you have to make the neckline really deep if you don't want cleavage cleavage to show you know you, know you have to make the neck depth high so for me i'm just doing like about um four inches from my ample level here that's going to be my neck depth or three inches so pretty much so this is my own neck depth right here because i don't want um any cleavage to show i want the neck to be high if you want it deeper you can go lower you can come here you can come here it all depends on you so yeah now i'm going to connect from here to this spot here and this is my neckline right here so because i want straps because my dress is going to have straps here i'm going to draw in a one inch strap right here so from here to here i'll measure one inch from here to here i'll just measure one inch then i'll connect it so yeah this is the shape of my front strap right here so i'm just going to measure what i have from here to here and write it down somewhere we'll be using it later when we want to cut our strap so measure from here to here and write it down somewhere so yeah this is my front strap right here now the next thing i'm going to do is to measure right from there to that spot at the other end from here to here whatever i get i'm going to measure it from here outward so i hope you got the drift so i'm going to measure from that spot to that spot whatever i get i'll measure from there to the outside so you got it and that's the point right there so i'm going to um, use my french curve to just draw a straight line from there to my 
bust point so just a straight line really to my bust point So yeah, that's that. So that's my new um, that upper that, and that's just to make the neckline a little bit tighter to the body. Now I'm going to label this. So I'm going to label that part the side front, and then I'm going to label this part the center front. And now the next thing will be to cut it out. So I'm going to cut out the center front along that line all the way to my bust point right there, all the way down, down, down till I get to my hem. And then to cut out the side front, I'm going to start from there and start from there all the way to the first point right there. And then I follow that line all the way, all the way down, down till I get to the hem of my dress and then I cut out the side also. So that's that pretty much. That's that for the front of my um, pattern. So for the center front, I'm going to cut one piece of that on fold. And then for the side front, I'm going to cut two pieces for the side front so i'm going to cut all of that out now so you can see what it looks like cut out so yeah this is it cut out so all you have to do now is to cut one piece on fold for your center front and then you cut two pieces for your side front please note that this part here is a borderline so you can just fold it in can just fold it in where you want to cut on your fabric so yeah that's that so when you are cutting before you cut on your fabric remember to add your allowance so you add a quarter inch at the neckline half inch at the middle part here and then one inch at the hem so you do the same also for this half inch here quarter inch at the neckline half inch for the armhole and one inch at the side so pretty much so when you are cutting on your fabric also remember to notch all of these points here you notch your waist this is my waistline you notch your upper hip line this is my upper hip line and then you notch your lower hip line then you do the same also here too you notch your bust point also here don't forget and also notch this point here so pretty much now let's work on drafting the back pattern now for the back the back is pretty easy so all you have to do is to first get the full length of your dress just like you did for the front so you measure from your shoulders straight to your full length measurement and then the next thing will be to just um, draw in your neckline so I'm going to use um, the same highest point that is neck height I use for my front or my back so this is my neck height right here now let's locate the neck depth so the neck depth can be however you want and this time around I want my neck depth to be like really low so lower than the one for the front so I'm stopping here I feel like right here is just perfect for me so I'm going to connect from here back to this part here now to give my back a tighter fit I'm going to come to my dart line here and then I'm going to measure half inch out half inch out at my across um, back this is my across back level so I'm going to measure half inch out half inch out then this is it so now I'm going to connect a straight line to my that leg here and then connect a straight line also to my that leg right here and now i'm going to draw in my straps just like i did for the front so i'm going to draw a one inch that so from here i'll draw i'll measure one inch and from here i'll measure one inch then i'm going to connect it so yeah that is this is my back strap so i'm going to measure what i have from here to here and then i'm going to write it down somewhere we'll be using it later when we want to cut the strap the reason why i'm doing this is just to get an accurate strap length measurement for my dress so measure what you have from here to here and then write it down somewhere so yeah that's that so now all you have to do is to just label this i'm going to label this my center back and then i'm going to label this my side back then at the middle point here at my waistline here i'm going to measure half inch out and then i'll connect to this part let me just measure the half inch so i'll measure half inch from my zip line here out so yeah this is it so now i'm going to connect from here to this part here that is my upper hip line here and then i'm going to connect this one to the top here so yeah and so this is my new zip line so now i'm just going to cut all of this out now so i'm going to cut my center back from here i may cut from here 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 and then follow this line here all the way this way 
till I get to the hem of my dress and then I'm going to cut the side back from here here follow this line here and then keep going keep going till I get to the hem and then I follow this so that's that so I'm going to cut all of that out now so you see what it's going to look like fully cut out and so this is my back piece cut out so when you're cutting this on your fabric you cut two pieces for the center back and then you cut two pieces also for the side back so then you add your allowances you add the quarter inch at the neckline half inch at this mid part one inch at the hem do the same here quarter inch at the neckline half inch at this midpoint one inch at the hem one inch at the side half inch at the ample so when you are cutting also on your fabric remember to notch your waistline notch your upper hip and do uh, notch your lower hip and do the same also for this part too. so pretty much that's that that's all you have to do to your pattern really and so after cutting on your fabric you also cut on your lining exactly the same way so i'm not going to do all of that now cut out on my fabric and all then we can move straight to sewing so yeah these are my fabric pieces with um all of them cut out so this is my center print my side print my center back my side back so yeah pretty much i also this is the lining also already cut the lining and all so um another thing i did was to iron on interfacing to the upper part of my dress so i just as um, ironed on interfacing from the top to like about um my upper hip um measurements remember i asked you to notch all of those points down when you are cutting on your fabric so i have them notched you can see this part is notched and then i have my waistline also notched and all of that so yeah i i am done all my interfacing on this like halfway and all of that and this is my strap right here remember i told you to um write down your front strap and back strap i told you to write it down somewhere so for me my front strap was four inches and my back strap was four inches so i added the two together and that gave me eight inches so from here to here is eight inches so pretty much from here to here is two inches by the time i fold it i'm going to have one inch so i'm going to fold it and um, sew like a quarter at the edge here then i turn it inside out so that's how i'm going to get the strap for my dress so i'll be attaching it to the upper part of my dress so this is my second strap also right here so yeah so for the drape part of the dress to get the width i'll cut for the drape i'm going to measure um what i have on my hip line so this is my hip line right here so i'll measure from here to here and then i'll write it down this is my lower hip line this is my upper hip line and this is my waistline so you do the same here so to get the width i'll be measuring for my drape i'm going to measure what i have from here to here so for me that is about um let's say i think i was about so for me it was about six inches so i'm going to add half inch to that so half inch for ease so that's going to give me six and a half inches so yeah that's that then i'm going to add another half inch into it that will be my allowance so that's going to give me seven inches then you come to the side back also i measure from here to here so and that for me also is about like um, six inches so i'm going to write that six inches down and then i'll add half inch to that so half inch is just for ease so that will give me six and a half then i'll add half inch allowance to my six and a half so that will give me seven so that seven i'll add the two sevens together and that gives me 14 inches so that will be the um, width of the drape i'll be measuring so the length can be however long you want so let's assume this is it so from here to here is my 14 inches then the length can be however long you want because we are going to be gathering it so you can just um, measure anything for me i just measured about 72 inches from the top here so i'm going to gather it back so um let's say this is the drape when we are sewing i'm going to gather this gather this gather this then i'm going to gather it back to the same length as we have from my waist to this point so because i want to start the placement of the drip from i don't want to start it from my waist i want to start it um, a little bit away from my waist so you can just measure like one and a half inches down from your waist so this is where i want to start the um drip from so you measure one and a half inches down then you gather this you gather this at this edge gather it gather it gather it so once you gather it start placing it from here 
you place it all the way till you get to the hem of your dress so i hope you got the drift so by the time you place this by the time you place this you leave it so i'll just be showing you how to do all of that later so i hope you just got the drift of how to measure the width of the drip and also the length of the drip so yeah let's move straight to i'm going to now sew all of this together now so this is what i mean by everything i just explained so the drip or ruffle part it goes into your side front and this one also goes into the side front then you join this you join the side front to the center front you join the side front here also to the center front and i've done that so this is my bust area here the bust area of my dress here and all of that so pretty much now i'm going to and these are my straps really so these are my straps so all i have to do now is to just place my strap right here and then i also place this right here then i'll place my lining over this so yeah this is my lining so i'll place it over this and then i'll sew my neckline and then i'll sew my armhole so i'll just use my lining to turn both my neckline and my armhole then i turn the night lining inside so once i'm done then i'll start now i'll now start working on the back piece also so i work on the back piece and then i'll fix this also into my side back so you fix this part here so this part here that i've not um sewn to any place i'll fix it into my into the back of my dress into my side back at this middle point here so yeah i'm just going to do all of that now and then i'll show you what it looks like so yeah this is my completed dress right here so um pretty much so you can remember that after attaching this i said you have to attach it to the back here also so before you attach it to the back you have to sew the side you have to sew the side of your dress first then you attach this into this so that's that if you if you want you can decide to make this wider so that this folds more like so that this falls more at the side right here and if you want you can decide to you can decide to leave it the way i've done it so yeah and because i don't want my dress to be like too tight i did not pencil up the hem of my dress so from my hip it was straight down so you can remember when we were drafting our pattern from our, my hip line it was just straight down so yeah that's that for the dress so i'm just going to wear it down now so that you can see the fit of the dress